Hey guys, Kat McCloud here. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. Today I am going to be filming an oft requested video, my nighttime skincare routine. So I have like a few step routine. <laughs> it's not like too much I feel like, but it is a little bit of a commitment. It usually takes me about like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get real clean, real moisturized, real pretty. <laughs> So thank you so much for being here and let's get started. So the first thing that I do at night is I go ahead and I cleanse my skin. I kind of just roll through different cleansers. I like to try different things. My favorite one is probably the First Aid Beauty one, but right now I have the Bare Minerals Pure Plush Gentle Deep Cleansing Foam. So here is what that little package looks like. Very minimalistic, just kind of white. <laughs> the first thing that I do whenever I get a uh, new product is I just go on the back and I look at all of the ingredients that are in it and see if they're actually something I want to use on my skin. So this one must have passed the test even though it had a little bit of fragrance in it. I have moderately sensitive skin and fragrance is something that can like set it off, make it get red and like kind of stingy. So um, denatured alcohol and fragrance are two things that I've really tried to cut out of basically all of the products that I'm using on my face. Every once in a while I let it slip if it's like really far down on the ingredients list. It smells really good. Like it smells like a literal grapefruit rind right now. I would say that the only downside to this that I have experienced is that it gets in my eyes instantly. So that's just something to, you know, think about. <laughs> Okay, so my face is nice and wet and I want to kind of do something a little bit special today. So I'm going to be using my little Sonic scrubber here. Oh, and you can like change the speeds on it. it, can go really slow if you have really sensitive skin. So this one I got off of Amazon for like $20 and it is a dupe for the Foreo Luna cleanser things. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen those, but they're like $190 and I was like, I will literally never. And so I bought this one off of Amazon and it is really, really nice. Mm, it really feels like it's getting down in there. It makes me dizzy sometimes though, because it kind of like shakes your whole head, you know? Ooh, but that's nice. It's nice. <laughs> okay, time for a rinse. <laughs> So I have a face towel in the bathroom at all times, like a specific towel that I use for my face. I kind of rotate through the different ones that I have depending on what is clean or not. But my favorite one is actually from the Dollar Tree. It is in their auto section. It's like a big towel though, and it's kind of fluffy. It's like a microfiber towel, and it has short bristles on one side and long bristles on the other side. And when I tell you it is a dupe for the makeup eraser, exactly what the makeup eraser says that it does, that's what this thing does. So go to the Dollar Tree to their auto section and get their microfiber chamois cloth things. They're fantastic. Mine is dirty right now though, so that's why I'm using that one instead. <laughs> so yeah, just um, a regular facial cleanser is usually what I use to get off my makeup. Sometimes though, I feel like I need something a little bit more. So if I was wearing like super heavy makeup, waterproof stuff, that kind of thing, I would go in with my oil cleanser. And this is one from Dermablend, so really nice company and everything. I don't particularly love it. It kind of leaves an oily residue on my skin, but I do feel that it gets a lot of my makeup off. It does kind of melt the makeup as it sets. So I will either use that stuff or this stuff, the Simple Micellar Cleansing Water. Just put it on like a little cloth or a round or whatever you have and um, wipe it over your face and it works pretty dang good. <laughs> I just almost never wear anything to require anything that heavy. I just do my facial cleanser and then um, a couple times a week I will do my toner, which is the next step I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is the toner that I use. It is from The Ordinary. It is their 7% glycolic acid toner, and that is because I wanted something that would kind of get whatever my cleanser leaves behind and like really deep cleanse my face. I probably use this like two, three times a week. Plus I wanted to get a chemical exfoliant as opposed to like a physical one because like I said, I have mildly sensitive skin and so using the exfoliants with like actual scrubbies in them can really throw my skin off balance and make it really red and everything. So I didn't want to deal with that. <laughs> so I just use this uh, chemical exfoliant now. But you don't have to get anything like this 
specific. But yeah, so I'm just going to put some of this on this little bamboo cotton round that I have. I actually just bought um, some of these from Amazon the other day. Uh, because I'm trying to transition at least my bathroom into being low waste and then when I'm done using them I put them in this little mesh bag that I have hanging on the back of the door and then whenever that gets full I will just throw that whole bag into the laundry with my whites and it'll work out great. <laughs> Toner is supposed to help get rid of like redness. I just really like it because it gets my skin really really clean. I only do this a couple times a week because I'm really focusing nowadays on maintaining my skin's natural moisture barrier because your skin has like an ecosystem of its own and so I don't want to do anything to throw that off especially because I have sensitive skin so if I do anything to throw it off I don't want to talk about it <laughs> okay so in my process I like to move from the lightest products to the heaviest products and so after toner which is super light I like to go for a serum and this is one that I got through Ipsy. It is from a brand called Evolue, and it is literally just vitamins. I love that they're so simple. However, this little thing, apparently the MSRP is $60. I don't think so. So I'm really happy that I got it in Ipsy. Probably just gonna keep going to TJ Maxx and or Ulta after this. <laughs> That way I don't have to spend $60 on anything like this. But anyway, so um, a serum is literally just vitamin juice for your skin. <sighs> okay, this is what it looks like. Oh gosh, it's very thin. Okay. <laughs> you want it to get as close to your skin as possible, which is why I'm putting it on right after all the cleansing parts of my process. Usually serums have a lot of like hyaluronic acid is a really common one. You'll see vitamin C, that kind of stuff. Yeah, very good ingredients to have. So next heaviest thing after serum would be your moisturizer. I personally love a water-based gel moisturizer because like I said, I have sensitive skin and so my skin can lean either direction from oily to dry and so I think that water helps it to stay as balanced as possible while still giving it the moisture that it needs without giving it extra oiliness, if that makes sense. Um, so this is the type of moisturizer I would recommend for literally anybody is a gel moisturizer. CeraVe has some really good stuff and they're probably the number one brand that I would recommend for like literally everybody across the board. Just go buy CeraVe from like Walmart. It's good stuff, so... So this is the moisturizer that I'm using today. It is from Mamond. Their packaging is seriously so beautiful. It gets me every time. Hang on, we've got a visitor. Hello, little paw. Hey, are you coming to say hi? Come here. <laughs> she runs away. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. So anyway, as I was saying, this is the Mamond Rose Water Gel Cream. This stuff smells so good. Mm, it literally smells like a rose. That's what it's supposed to smell like. However, I will say I will never ever ever buy this again because it has fragrance and um, it had that one and then like all the way down literally like second or third from the bottom it had sodium hyaluronate which is the hyaluronic ingredient. So I just don't nope <laughs> and then it says on here soothing and moisturizing for all skin types. If you had sensitive skin, girl, like, you'd be running far from this. So, no, no, I do not recommend this. It does feel good, though. It just feels nice and thick. And I like to give myself a little facial massage. Kind of move around this way a little bit. Especially over the eyebrows. I hold a lot of tension there. Just do like that. Oh. Spoil yourself a little bit, even if it's just a tiny thing like that. Moisturizing your face and massaging it at the same time. <laughs> okay, so the next step in my routine is eye cream. I literally put on eye cream twice a day. I don't even care. I am going to do it. That is because I know that I have hooded eyes and I can just tell they have a tendency to really crease. And I already have some crinkles from me sleeping on my side and doing that. So I'm worried for my eyeballs. <laughs> So I always use an eye cream because I don't want any of the dryness, the texture, the darkness, the puffiness, the wrinkles. I don't want any of that stuff happening on my eyes. However, I have not found my perfect eye cream yet. So the one that I'm using right now I got from It's is this guy from Malin and Goats and it is their revitalizing eye gel. They say that this stuff is supposed to be really brightening 
I don't really see it, but I like that it's a gel formula. I'm not super picky about it though. I can do water-based or oil-based for my eyes. It's not like a big deal. Just tapping that in. But this stuff, I have not noticed it being particularly brightening, even though it's got like diamond powder in it. <laughs> it does make my eyes kind of sensitive and um, feel a little bit hot. I don't know how else to describe it. It just feels like my eyes are like radiating heat right now. <laughs> I would not pay that for it. So I'm really happy that I got it in Ipsy instead. That way I know. Because otherwise I would have seen diamond powder in the ingredients and gone like, ooh. <laughs> okay, so at this point in my routine is when I would use a face oil. I know, but you said your face gets really oily if you throw it off balance. Why are you doing this, Catherine? Okay, so let me tell you a little story. So I used to think that my face was really oily and then I reasoned it out and I did a little research and it turns out that your skin can actually be oily because it's dehydrated and it's trying to like overcompensate for the dehydration that's going on in it. So I started drinking more water and I started being okay with using oils on my face. At night is when I particularly like to do that because I know that with the alcohols and my makeup products, being out in the sun, I put my skin through a lot. Above all things, I do not want my skin to be dried out. I know I'm kind of in like a catch 22, <laughs> but this is just the way that I've reasoned out. If you are not comfortable using oils, you don't have to. But anyway, so this is a point in my routine that I would use a face oil. The reason why I would use a face oil right now is because because I've just put on a lot of water-based stuff and oil sits on top of water and it prevents water from evaporating from your skin and so that's kind of like my logic and thought process with that. So this is actually the first time that I've used this face oil. It is from Bosha. It's their Rose Hip Omega Face Oil. I uh, got this in a boxy charm, and it looks really, really nice. I know that Bosha is a nice brand. It's in the prestige side of Ulta, that's for sure. Lavender packaging, that is so cute. So I'm just going to drop this. Let's just use like four drops today, maybe five. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Oh, it smells, um, it smells a little pickly. But gosh, it feels soft. Oh, that feels so soft. Oh my goodness. Do you see that, like, satiny glow it's giving my skin? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, my face looks so glowy. Look at that cheek. Okay, so Bosha Rose Hip Face Oil. I really like it. Over time, hopefully it looks great on my skin. Last step in the actual skincare, and then there are a couple of other steps that I wanna to talk to you about. I have gotten to where I really enjoy using sleeping masks. I know, what? What is, why? I don't know, it's something about it. It feels not only luxurious to me, but it also just feels like it like super deeply moisturizes my skin as I'm sleeping. And then also, also, I feel like I can just like wake up the next morning, rinse my skin off, and the sleeping mask caught all of the dirt and dust and everything that's falling through the air. And so I can just kind of like rinse that off the surface and I'm good. I don't know if that's true, but that's how I feel using this. So keeping with the rose theme, this is from a brand that is like Korean inspired and it is called Su A. It's their revitalizing rose petal sleeping mask. It actually has little dried rose pieces in here. It's kind of interesting, even though I just like pull them off my face and throw them in the trash. However, this one not only has fragrance, but it also has alcohol denat. But because they're so low on the ingredient list, I've always been okay using this. This brand is sold at Walmart and like Target. It's like six or eight dollars for this mask, which is a pretty good price. So if you're wanting to try a sleeping mask, this one smells really good and it feels really good. I use a lash serum at night. This is from Rimmel. It is their lash accelerator. I can't really show you the label because it's like all rubbed off. I really, really like this stuff, not only because it does not have alcohol denat, but also because it dries down really, really well. So it dries into like these little, almost stringy little tubes. And this stuff has castor oil, really, really good for growing strong, beautiful, healthy lashes. The last step in my nighttime skincare routine is to use something for my lips. So it used to be just like a lip balm, but then I started realizing my lips need a little something more. They just have a tendency to get really flaky and dry. So I started using sleeping masks for my lips. I started out with the Burt's Bees Lip Therapy little container about this big, and it's like 
$8 at Ulta. Then I started realizing that's a hefty price to pay, and also I like the packaging on this other one more. So this is from Mamond again. This is their Plum Blossom Lip Sleeping Mask. It runs about $14 for this giant container. It is huge. So if you're wondering whether or not to go with the Burt's Bees one or this one, I would 100% say this one just because of the amount of product that you're going to get. I haven't noticed literally any flaking on my skin since like the second week of using it. And I just put a nice thick layer of it on my skin. It's almost got like a soapy scent. So it's not like you're going to be laying there smelling this for eight hours straight. <laughs> And the last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is my little mini fridge. So this is it. It is from Frigidaire. My mother-in-law got me this for, I think, Christmas or my birthday a couple years back. She's literally the best gift giver. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It's just so cute. It's meant for soda, so they have a shelf that you can fit, like, two soda cans here and then four on the bottom. I just figured it would be perfect for fitting skincare, and it really, really is. All of the products that I've talked to you about and more can fit in this thing. Fan freaking tastic. I want to say when she bought it, it was probably like $20, but now they're running at like $35 because Frigidaire realized how popular these tiny fridges are. But if you're wanting one on a budget and you're not wanting to spend like $80 on one of the brand name ones, you can totally buy just a little one from Walmart. Okay guys, so that is it for my nighttime skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this, that it gave you a little bit of inspiration and information. If you did like it, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button for me. And if you'd like to stick around, then we'd love to have you hit that subscribe button and um, yeah, that's pretty much that. <laughs> Thanks again guys so much for being here. Please leave a comment down below what you thought of this video. I hope you have a great day and I will see you again next time. Okay, bye!